Well, the emergency meeting at the State House lasted less than an hour, and it touched on one of Baltimore's most pressing issues violent crime. WJZ investigator Mike Helgen live in Annapolis with more on what the mayor and the governor discussed. Mike? Denise, the governor just issued a statement. He did not mention a single program or solution that they talked about. The mayor held a press conference here. She said she asked the governor for help from various state agencies and increased technology to help combat violent crime. She didn't say how much it would cost and whether the governor is welcome to uh, open to opening the state's pocketbook. The high-profile, high-stakes meeting between Governor Hogan and Mayor Pugh to tackle Baltimore's crime crisis finally took place, with the mayor speaking moments afterward. I called the meeting with the governor, who always answers my call, and said I'd like to, you to know where we are and how we can move forward in violence reduction. Almost daily, city police post pictures of guns they've taken off the streets, but the shootings and killings have skyrocketed, and in hard-hit West Baltimore, people are fed up. It is ridiculous. A guy was like running through my uh, neighborhood the other night with a gun in his hand. More than 450 people have been shot since the beginning of the year, making Baltimore one of the nation's most violent cities. Uh, it's not the police's fault. Uh, it's not the state's fault for not putting enough money in there. Governor Hogan has pushed back against the tougher gun laws the mayor wants, but called on judges to issue tougher sentences. He also says he doesn't see the need to throw more money at the problem. Mayor Pugh wants better partnerships with state agencies like parole and probation to keep tabs on offenders. She also promoted the expansion of ShotSpotter, a technology that detects gunfire and alerts police. It's the technology, it is the strategy, it's the focus on, uh, on the areas where violence is at its highest. In a statement, the governor called his meeting with Pew frank and productive. And so we're looking forward to continuing to meet. Uh, we will be meeting um, probably shortly after he has an opportunity to digest all of the information that I brought to him, and it was a very good meeting. Uh, the governor did call the situation in Baltimore a crisis and says he will continue working with the mayor and city government. Live in Annapolis, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much, Mike. Non-fatal shootings in Baltimore are up 50% over this time last year.